Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Ultra Mod Nuclear Throne. We're jumping in again, going for more Secret Ultras. This time we are going for Panda's Secret Ultra here. And this one is pretty easy. We just got to not take Throne, but and I think it's long arm. We got to take long arms, impact wrists, or flexible elbows. Uh, so really, it doesn't rely on too much. But yeah, this guy, randomize our weapons that are thrown into the portal, and we can throw our weapons as well. Pretty fun character. And as we've been doing in the past, we're going to grab, um, which one is it? Which one is it? I can't remember now. Remove your secondary weapon, you go through the portal, more chests, slightly more weapon drops. That's the one. Yeah, we'll take that, because that's been super useful in the past for, uh, for leveling up quickly. We don't exactly need the secondary weapon. I'll, uh, open that up. I'm not going to go through there yet, though. And, yeah, well, we'll see what we can do here, going for a, a good old little ultra. I've started with the, uh, the shotgun here. Which is just the super, super close range shotgun, which tends to be pretty goddamn good. Uh, we can take that. We've got our wrench here. Yeah, as I said, tends to be pretty goddamn good. Um, I, I like having it. I mean, obviously, it's very close range, so it can be a bit sketchy. But we should be okay here. Um, right, so shotgun shoulders would be pretty goddamn good right now. Um, ecstatic fists is also really, really good. Um, but open mind, I think, is better because we get even more. We get more chests, and then we get even more, more chests. So I'm, I'm down to clown with that. I've got to be really careful about these explosive guys. Because although um, they're not super difficult, based on the situation I'm in right now, they're not exactly easy either. Yeah, there you go. Look, I'm taking damage there that I shouldn't be taking. Right, I might, I might try and hold off a little bit here and let some enemies come towards me. I think this could get pretty nasty if I'm not careful. There you go. Ooh, lovely amounts of health there. Brrr. Okay, let's see what guns we want to actually take here. Uh, Slugger, Director Rifle. What's, what's this gun here? That's the actual hand cannon. Um, I think Slugger's probably going to be the best thing to take here, if I can goddamn grab it. There you go. Slugger. We'll get rid of the shotgun. Shotgun's fine, but not the best right now. And then there's impact wrists, so that's one of the items we need. We've got the charge bow there. Yeah, so that's one of the items we need, and now we no longer need to worry about anything else. Just make sure we don't take throne, but and we'll be fine. No longer have to worry. A lot of police here. A lot of police. The purple coming in hot. And we don't mind that. See what we've got going on here. Director grenade, grenade revolver, sledgehammer. Pretty happy with this, to be honest. I'm just going to quickly check the rest of the level here. Wow, that, that guy actually hit me. I wasn't expecting that for some reason. There it is. I knew there'd be another one of those somewhere around. But yeah. Open mind plus this mutation is just amazing for getting an insane amount of stuff. Um, glass arm cannon, boiling veins might be good. I think honestly though, I'm gonna take hypersomnia as it got a pretty pretty decent buff recently, um, and it's become a lot lot better. Um, I need to look at the patch notes actually, uh, but yeah, basically enemies sleep for longer and a lot more enemies sleep on spawning in now. Like even bosses look. Right, let's take out everything else first. I know he's going to rush me in a moment, so I've got to be sort of ready for that. Yeah, there you go. Got to be ready for that crazy barrage of explosive shots that he does. Um, toxic assault rifle, microplasma, triple pop gun. All pretty good, but the slugger's doing a mighty fine job right now. That single target damage is, is very, very nice. Um... Hammerhead could be pretty good. Plutonium Hunger, though, we, we really like. We've, we've, we've spoken about many times about how much we love Plutonium Hunger, so I will definitely take that. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, the enemies are just sleeping for much, much longer. And a lot of the enemies that spawn in now sleep as well, which is super good. Wasn't the case before. I mean, police used to used to spawn uh, spawn in sleeping, but a lot of other stuff didn't. Okay, I need to get the hell out of here before I take some bad damage. Holy fuck, man! 
This area is hectic as shit. I'm definitely in the need of an upgraded weapon. Damn. Okay, unfortunately, we did perish there. That was a little bit silly of me going in for that kill there. Probably shouldn't have done. I think shotgun probably isn't the best golden weapon to start with, to be honest. It's not It's not doing us a whole lot of good. It's, it's very, very hard to use um, for difficult enemies. Like, enemies that aren't that hard, it's not that bad. But, like these guys, it's, it's kind of ace for these guys, because we can just kind of run through them all. But for regular enemies, it's not doing so hot. I'm going to take the grenade launcher. A little bit riskier. A little bit riskier, but not so bad. Not so bad. Um, and we want to take... Let's have a look. What do we want to take here? Flexible elbows is one of the ones that we need to take, so we'll take that. And the extra resources certainly, certainly don't dislike them. But I'm loving being back on Nuclear Throne. It's been a little while since I've recorded Nuclear Throne, actually. I kind of had a, a bit of a break for it. Not, not on purpose, really, just because I'd already pre-recorded a lot of videos for it and didn't need to record. I've just been recording other things, but I certainly miss it. Oh, come on. I missed out on one of the thingies there. Small missile bomb. Oh, this thing's kind of sketchy. It's good, but it's like very potentially dangerous. But it's, it's fun, though. Director Slugger seems very good here. Oh, Heavy Crossbow seems... Very good as well. We'll take the director slugger for now. Nail gun? I don't think I've used a nail gun before, or at least not much. I like the fact that we've got the teddy bear skin unlocked for this guy as well. I'm feeling dapper. Good, good, good. Um, trigger fingers could be pretty interesting here. Long arms could be good too. I'm going to go with trigger fingers though, I think. Trigger fingers with a, with a slugger for the extra shots. Ooh, dude, that was a nice little nice little long range slap we got going on there. Didn't expect the slap to hit from quite the distance it did there, but it did and we like it. We got more fur over right there. We've also got splinter. Splinter, what is that? A splinter machine gun. Is that, that, that might be new as well, actually. There's, there's definitely a few new guns. Uh, Basically, from what I've been reading, obviously, since I've last played, there's been a good few updates. I think one new mutation, bunch of new weapons. Uh, but I do think as well, at the moment, uh, the developer is working on update 31, which is like the next big update. Um, so I'm, I'm very interested to see what that ends up looking like. We've got flexible elbows already, so we can not, we don't have to worry about that. Open mind once again. I think open mind with, specifically with the setup, I mean, it's really good anyways, but specifically with the setup, is proving to be extremely good. I really like the director slugger. As, as opposed to the regular slugger, it's so much better. Wrong direction there. What was that there? The fr Frost Assault Pistol, I think, could be pretty good here. The Lance is also really good, too. Eh, it's, it's alright. It's not, it's not the best. I think I'm going to take the, the Frost Pistol, actually. Cool. Remember as well, I can randomize my guns by throwing them in the portal. I've not really been doing that thus far, so I need to keep, keep that in mind. Um... But it's, it's a little difficult with this, because if I only get one weapon, randomize them and throw them through. Actually, to be fair, thinking about it, it could be really good. So, I'm going to test this out after the stage. I've kind of got a little bit of an idea of how to best utilize this now. Flame SMG. I think Frost is better than Flame overall, isn't it? In my opinion. Oh my god, this is a, a lot of fur. Quite a lot of fur indeed. Sextuple blood rifle is uh, pretty insane. So let's take out. Oop, I just accidentally clicked off of my game. My bad. So if I throw that in there, throw that in there. And go straight through. 
Yeah, these do randomize. Charge, shotgun, director slugger. Okay, so director slugger's still there. Do uh, yeah, I, I like the idea of that. And then I guess I'll take that as well. Why not? And we can go straight away through here. Yeah. Toxic line. Ooh, toxic line is dangerous, but very, very good. Any of the line weapons are uh, a pretty top tier, in my opinion. Just the amount of reach they have. It's it's an insane amount of safety. Don't know why I decided to uh, put some of that on those guys. That wasn't a great idea. Toxic plus frog is uh, not a match made in heaven. Mini flame cannon. Seems to be doing a not bad job. Right. Orbiter. Oh, I didn't mean to go straight through there. God damn it. Um, again, I'm going to say Hypersomnia. I'm kind of sticking with that at the minute. Not really got good stuff here. I've lost my shotgun, apparently. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I completely burned myself there by grabbing the wrong weapon. That was not what I wanted at all. Not a good time for us. Not a good time for us at all. But, as we keep going on, I think this crown is still the crown of all crowns, for leveling up at least. Micro grenade, shot, regular shotgun, I think, is uh, definitely up my alley. Much, much better than the other uh, shotgun. It's like, shotgun's obviously got more shots, but I, lo I love the ability to have some range, and then with shotgun shoulders, this thing will be better as well. So we get impact wrists right off the bat, that's one of the things we need, and impact wrists is just generally pretty good anyways. I like the fact that with this mod, like, so many of the mutations just become so much more useful. There's a lot of them that are just terrible normally. Where's the actual boss? Why are you all the way down here? What are you doing? He's gonna kill me. No, he tried, he tried. He was just chilling down there. Um. I'm gonna go with glass arm cannon. It's a little risky with my current HP. But I think the extra damage could be pretty huge. Extra HP there. I wanna go for the full damage setup again. Full damage setup is, is pretty fun when you can make it work. We got a bubble popper there, I think it was. Oh, so. Oh, no, no. Yeah, bullet popper. There it is. Mini Plasma. Okay, be careful. I'm taking some bad damage here. We need uh, Plutonium Hunger, really. Be very good right now. We are. I like the throwing into Randomize. It's cool. And then we've got... Eagle Eyes. Hyper so I I'm going to keep taking Hypersomnia. I, I, I trust that it's very good. Micro Shotgun. Okay, Micro Shotgun's better. Micro shotgun's definitely better. Okay, look, it spawns sleeping fish. Also, why won't that car blow up? Yeah, him spawning sleeping fish makes things a lot easier. Um, tough shell. This has been this has been changed. Uh, plus one max HP. Everything that deals more than two damage to you deals one less. Okay, so it's no longer just everything deals one. Um, nothing can deal more than eight damage to you. Okay, that's an addition to this. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, whoa! What are these? What are these new flame guys? Also, I'm getting this like sort of boom effect when I kill things. Is that because of um? I don't know what that's from actually. Hmm. Frost knife. It's 
scarier face, maybe? Or is that impact wrist that's doing it? I think it's scarier face. Cool. We're plowing through right now. We do not want throwing, but remember. Um, a static face. Okay, we've got the full damage set up now. Good, good, good. More for uh, I'm pretty happy with what I've got going on right now, to be honest. Is that not it? There must be like another section with a bunch of enemies in it. Okay, yeah, I just missed this area over here. Good, good, good. I'm liking this a lot. Right, straight through. I am liking this a lot. God damn, I just love nuclear throwing, man. I'm really glad people like it on the channel as well. And also, I've been discussing with my in my Isaac series about potentially cutting back my amount of Isaacs that I do. So I might, I might be um, doing more nuclear throwing if I do that. If I cut back the amount of Isaac I'm doing. Well, that was easy. Okay, we're up to level eight already, and we've got what we need, so we we are good to go. Uh, ooh, this is new. This is new. Adrenaline fuel. While in combat, slowly gain ammo and very slowly gain health. When using ultra weapons, gain rads. Prioritize equipped ammo. Um, can Q1 heal when at full health. Ooh, that sounds really interesting. Definitely new to us there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just, like, slowly gaining ammo over time there. I see that. That seems cool. That seems really good. And we've got this little bar on our health. I'm guessing that means uh, when our next heal is arriving. I wonder what it means by very slowly. I'm guessing like once every maybe 20 seconds. Maybe 10 seconds. I don't, I don't really know what slow is in terms of nuclear throwing. Because each floor is pretty quick. So. More slow is to one person. It may not be to another. Should we go straight through here I think. Frost on this thing seems beautiful. That missile that you fired was new. Don't touch me. This boss has definitely been changed, right? It's not just me being, me, me being crazy, is it? Okay, we are here. This thing with the damage setup, like any any low level weapon, honestly, with the full damage setup can be absolutely deadly. This thing would be even better if we had um, eagle eyes. Blob cannon. Fucking love blob cannon. What's that there? Thunder kraken. Boom. Nah, blob cannon. I wish I could keep it. But this 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 shotgun will prevail. The shotgun shall prevail. Uh right. What do we want next? It's kind of a tricky one at this point. Euphoria could be pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to go with Rabbit's Paw here. Sharp Stress is one that I don't really take very often, but I probably should. It's pretty good. It's just, it's conditional. That's, that's what I don't like about it. I like things that are just working most of the time. Conditional ones are, like, good, but I don't want to be at low health, so. I don't want to be taking damage, so both of those are, like, not really, they're kind of non-starters for me. Beautiful stuff. And then we've got a little bit, a little bit of something up here. Done. Oh, I didn't want to get pulled through there. God damn it. Splinter, why not? Where we go? Not ideal for the boss here. Super Needle. 
I guess we'll give the super needle a go. Might might be good. It's an unlimited ammo at least, so that's good. And it's fucking huge. Seems to reach across the entire screen. Oh yeah, it's doing great damage. And I'm guessing it'll destroy shots as well, which is pretty good for us. Yeah, it does, but it's a, it's because of it's being very thin, it doesn't destroy shots in a great way. Okay, it, it, it killed him pretty fast. It killed him pretty fast. And there you go. We should have our secret ultra unlocked here. There we go, we do. All weapons are fully automatic. You no longer throw weapons. Instead, your active fires one of your weapons from the origin of your crosshair. Ooh, that seems interesting. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Unfortunately, I've got the wrong weapon now. I, I, I left my shotgun behind. But look at that. It's not doing a lot of damage to him, though. Makes melee weapons kind of insane, though, this. Yeah, it's pretty good, that. It's pretty good. This is awesome. From the origin of your crosshair, oh my god. You can shoot anything from, like, behind walls. Energy Scythe is the best thing right now. I'm loving that. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, that's going to end off that episode. I didn't think that that guy could one-hit me. Also... I thought I couldn't take any more than 8 damage in one hit, or is it because I only had 8 health? Oh, if that was 7, that'd be amazing. But either way, I think we're going to end that one off there. That was a pretty fun run, and we managed to get our ultra. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.